Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kimberly and I have ADHD. Um, you might hear Luna walking around. She is <laughs> always excited whenever I start to film. So um, I thought that I would do a, I guess an updated fountain pen journey kind of collection and then um, do some swatches of some of my pens in my, um, in the panache planner. So if you saw, again, my first video, I started with the Kakuno. Uh, the Pilot Kakuno, and then we went to the Jinhao 82s, which is a fantastic, right? <laughs> Sorry, there is someone outside. There, um, this is a fantastic writer. I was pleasantly surprised with the, I always, I can never remember if it's a screw off or a um, uh, pull, like a <laughs> twist off or a, like a pull, bop it, whatever. <laughs> so this one is a fantastic writer. This one has been fine. And this, I believe I have um, inked with uh, Urban Bouquet d'Antan, um, but I'm not sure. It's either this or Lady Rose. I cannot remember the life of me. I'll have to look. But um, this one has Lee de Te by also by Urban. It has Lee de Te um, in it, which is a brown color. It's beautiful. That one is a beautiful writer. So then from there, I went on and I purchased the, well, I didn't purchase it. It was actually a gift. Um, the Pilot Vanishing Point, which is in fine. And this is a click fountain pen. So I love this. This is actually, like I said, it was a, it was a present. So I am so pleased with this. Um, it is fantastic. It's a beautiful writer. And then this, I have my Diatrementis archive ink, which is this, um, the Diatrementis archive ink, which is right here. And it is a beautiful, beautiful, write. You can highlight over it. Like I mentioned before, um, and so then from there, what did I purchase next? I don't remember what I purchased next. It was all kind of a blur. Um, if you also have ADHD, you kind of know the, the struggle of, it all happened so fast, like a, so like a car crash. So <laughs> we'll just kind of go left or right. So then this one is the Sailor Le, uh, Sailor Le Cool, um, which is kind of an entry level pen, I would say for Sailor. This is a medium fine nib. And this one is inked with another pink color. I want to say this either has the Bouquet uh, Danton or this one has Lady Rose. I can't remember. We'll have to look. Or it might have Kosumozu by um, uh, Pilot. So I have uh, the Pilot Iroshizuku, Iroshizuku um, Kosumosu, um, which is a pink color, which I can't remember which one is in which right now. I would have to look at them. But I also have the Kaveco Sport, and this is the Kaveco Collection Mellow Blue. And this one is a fine point. All right, well, we weren't recording, so... <laughs> So here we are. So here we're back. Um, this is uh, Sailor 123, and this is a, I want to say it's like a gray color that shades into almost like a purple, purple, green color. I don't know how to describe that, but it is absolutely beautiful. Um, it is not a shimmering ink, even though you'll see some shimmer in there. The brush just has some leftover shimmer from the last one, which might have been the Fluttering Heart. So um, this is just Sailor Ink 12, or Sailor Ink Studio 123, and this was in the Every Rose Has Its Thorn. So uh, Sailor Pro Gear pen in a medium fine. And that is a beautiful, beautiful ink. Oh my gosh, I love it. And I have my pen, um, which might have actually been, no, it was this one next. It was this one next. So I want to say that the next one was the Sailor and it is a Pro Gear Slim, which, uh, you know, a lot of people get this one. Um, it is the Shikiori. And I want to say it's autumn or winter or something, but this is a 14 karat gold nib. And it is beautiful. This is inked with Diatrementis Archive ink as well. And it is a, it's like an ivory color with the black, um, black finials. And let's see from there, it might've been this one, which is the Sailor uh, Fascine, which is the um, uh, pink, I wanna say pink. It's a, it's a rose gold with, um, with white. So this is the Sailor Fascine and this is a steel nib, I wanna say. It should be a steel nib. It was also an entry level pen. So. These both, um, this one and this one are entry level pens, the Le Cool and the uh, Fascine, which are both, I would say probably around the $50 price range, which seems like a lot for a pen, but for Sailor that is very entry level um, once you see what's what's coming up next. So from there, I wanna say I got the uh, Lamy All Star, which is in the, I don't know what color this is. I'm gonna go with gunmetal because that's what the color it looks like to me, or silver, maybe it's silver. And this one has a 1.1, um, calligraphy nib on it, which is what I put on it. It come, it, I bought it with a medium nib and I didn't like it. Um, 
not because I didn't like it for the actual nib itself, because the, the medium nib is great. It's, I have it in another uh, Lamy. I just, for this one, I, because this one was also inked with black ink, <laughs> with the Diatromentous ink, um, I use this for titles. So it's better if I have a, uh, like a stub nib for something a little bit bolder. And then moving on, I wanna say this one is the next one. And this is the, my very favorite pen. Oh my gosh, it is my absolute um, favorite pen. Sorry, I'm trying to see and make sure I get everything in frame. Um, but this is my favorite pen. It is the Sailor Pro Gear. Every rose has its thorn. And if you can see that, it has um, beautiful sparkles in it. And it is a light blue color. It is, and this is inked with the Sailor 123. Um, I absolutely adore this pen. It is a 21 karat nib. And this one I got in medium fine. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to film with my phone because I left my camera somewhere and it is not with me right now. So I'm trying to film and trying to see this. So thank you for bearing with me guys. Um, <laughs> so this was probably the next one. And then I want to say I got maybe the Twisby Eco next. Um, I had an Amazon gift card, which I used and bought the Twisby Eco, which um, is a piston filler and you just dip it in um, and it's uh, an internal mechanism. So if you are unfamiliar with fountain pens, there are a couple of options that you could have. So which one has, let's go So this. So you can either have a, so here's a um, Caveco uh, Sport and this is a cartridge. So you can either pop in a cartridge, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a cartridge, you just pop it in, boop, just goes like that, and then you have ink. The other option that you can get is, is a converter. So, sorry, I'm holding my ink cartridges. So, the other option that you can get is, um, if you wanna fill it up with your own ink, this is a Pilot Con 40 converter. It holds an absurdly small amount of ink, um, but I need it for my Pilot Vanishing Point. I actually have, uh, and actually the Kakuno, it fits in the Kakuno as well, but, Instead of having an ex or, um, an external, uh, con uh, oh my gosh, converter like this, it's just the whole barrel is the converter. So if you just look at this, look at how much ink that holds. It holds so much more ink than just the little Con 40. So if you really like an ink, I would say get a Twisby Ego. These things, they write beautifully. This one isn't a fine. It is an absolutely gorgeous write. I love this pen. Um, right now, this is inked with the Murasaki Shikibu, um, the Hiroshizuku Ir um, ink. Sorry, I've had too much caffeine as usual. Um, ADHD and caffeine, we are we are vibing today. So we <laughs> this is inked with the, that beautiful purple, and I'll show you in a little bit, but I love this Twisby Eco. It is such a handy pen, and this is probably a, I would say if you were gonna get a pen, like an entry-level pen, I would say a Twisby Eco, a Kaveco, Oh, gosh, I don't know. Or even I would say a Jin. I would. I'm still gonna stand next to this Jin Hao because that Jin Hao is pretty good. Um, but I would say any one of these are all good options because they're all gonna be very reliable and they're all good entry level pens for getting into fountain pens. From there, so here's what a cartridge would look like. So this is um, Urban uh, Green Nuage, which is a cloud. It's cloud gray. Um, je parle français. Uh, um <laughs> so this is a uh, green wash and it is a gray color, but this is what a cartridge would look like. It is just a sealed cartridge of ink. And then you just pop it into your um, standard cartridge ink pen. Yes. So Kaveco's take standard inks or, oh my gosh, Kaveco's take standard cartridges. So you can pop these in there, which I just got this at my local store um, for a few bucks. But if you wanted to, you know, use a bottle of ink, then you would use a converter. So this isn't exactly an, uh, how to use fountain pens. I will do a beginner fountain pen uh, video, but this is going to be just kind of a quick overview, but just kind of to give you guys some context. So from there, what else? So I think my most recent acquisition is actually this uh, Sailor 1911L, which is L for large. <laughs> um, and this is the Sailor 1911 in a medium fine, and this is also a 21 karat gold nib, which is absolutely beautiful. And this is inked with Pilot Oroshizuku uh, Kosumosu. Uh, yep, so it's a, this is pink in here because I feel bad putting a black ink in this. I don't know why. It's 
it's just, it's because it's a demonstrator, which demonstrator means it's clear. You can see through it, demonstrates with what it does. Uh, I like that it is pink and I have a pink ink in there. It's so fun. So I think that's everything. Oh no, you know what I forgot? Um, I forgot, what did I forget? The Jin Hao. So I have another Jin Hao, which is a Jin Hao 100 and it is a, in a medium nib. And this is also 18 karat gold plated nib. So it's a steel nib, but it's plated in uh, gold. And this writes very thick. So if you saw, and you will see that this Jin Hao writes for a fine, it writes very thick. Um, I would say this would be comparable to like a Lamy, which writes pretty thick. So European nibs do write a, a bit thicker than um, Asian or Japanese nibs, Asian, uh, <laughs> than Japanese nibs, which are like the Pilots. So Twisby writes a little bit thicker because that's a German brand. Um, Jin Hao's gonna be thinner because Japanese Sailor writes thin because it's uh, Japanese. Um, Lamy is gonna write thicker because it is a uh, thicker European brand as well. So it's just kind of some nuances that you learn along the way of having fountain pens of what writes which way kind of. So from there, let's, uh, let's talk about, okay. So what I want to show you guys was you see this, uh, con 40 converter. So it is very, very small. It does not hold a ton of ink, but when you get a regular cartridge from, uh, it's probably this one. We'll go with this one. This looks like it. Um, when you get a cartridge from Pilot, they are much larger. So yeah, that was it. Whoop, come back. So this is just me. I'm quickly taking this apart. So what I did was actually take the ink out of the cartridge that it came with and I filled it up with my own Diatromantis ink wherever that went because look at how much more ink you get. It's like half the size. So <laughs> I'm just all excited. She just got up now. Um, so that was my that's my hack for adding more ink. So what I did was just take a syringe and um, basically suck out all the ink, which I think I have one right here. Yeah, so I just took a syringe, I sucked out all the ink, and I refilled it with the Diatromantis ink, so that way it was a much um, larger ink capacity rather than this Con 40, because that's super frustrating. I hate when I, you know, I'm writing and I'm on a roll and I just, I run out of ink. It's so frustrating. Ugh. So that's what I did. That was my hack. I didn't come up with it. Um, I saw it on someone else's video that you can basically refill a cartridge. And I was like, that is genius. So <laughs> that's what I did. Um, putting that away. So this is the pilot vanishing point and this is in the fine. So let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Um, might not be able to because I am on my phone and I'm going backwards. So I'm going to do this. I'll just bring this to you in a second. I'll just bring it up. So this is the, it writes so smooth. This is Diatramentis Archive Inc. And this is with a whoop, pilot vanishing point in fine so you can see right there there's the black and then if you go to the back side no bleed through so like I said it is fountain pen friendly so fountain pen ink is going to need a little bit longer to dry than you know your normal um like your Uniball Ones or your Sarasa dries, uh, they'll they'll take a little bit longer to dry, but then once they are dry, then they are good to go. So this is dry, it's dry now. It, it took literally just me talking <laughs> to dry. So then from there, we'll go with another black one, which is going to be this Sailor. So we will go with um, the Atramentis Archive. Ink. And this is the Sailor Pro Gear. Fun. So what I'm gonna do is actually probably swatch all these and I will just show you what they all are. Um, and I will come back. So you, I'll just fast forward through this part. If 
So there's all of them. Um, there we go. I'll try to get them all kind of in the sun there. And you can see that this um, Pink Sugar Beach has a uh, has shimmer in it. It is absolutely beautiful. And then you can see the Sailor Ink Studio, the 123, um, that different shading that it has, the different properties. But if you can see on the other side, there is no bleed through. So the panache planner paper is fountain pen friendly it is absolutely beautiful um i did almost forget about the archive ink uh in the lamy all-star so whew, almost forgot about that one and i realized about yeah obviously right down here with the Jin Hao that it <laughs> that was gonna run out of space so um i was like let's just shove this down and then what i did have in this actually before was um what i thought was the white pen um which is the urban green nuage which is the other gray. So this is the Sailor Ink Studio 123. I have it in the Cueco or the Caveco and in the, uh, every rose has its thorn. So I think those are beautiful. But if you look at this Jin Hao, this writes pretty thick for a fine if compared to like the Sailor fine. They're, they're a little bit, they're a little different. So it does write pretty thick if you were looking at that one and it almost writes closer to the medium fine of the Sailor Le Cool uh, or the Sailor Pro, Gim Sailor Pro Gear Slim, which is actually also a medium fine. I will write that on there. That is also a medium fine. It writes a little bit closer to that versus the, like an actual fine, which is a, a, a Japanese fine. So they are all fountain pen friendly. This has been super fun. I am so excited to go on this journey with all of the new fountain pens. I'm having so it's just such a blast, such a blast learning about new pens, finding new pens, um, just new inks. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. So I want to know, what is your current hyperfocus? What is your current hyperfixation? Let me know below in the comments and let's talk about it. I am super excited and um, I want to say... Uh, my most recent order was by Mandy. Thank you so much, Mandy. You are mo my most recent order. I really appreciate it. She ordered yesterday. Um, I am so excited. It will go out um, on Monday. I will get everything all ready and it'll be packaged and ready to go for you next week. So thank you guys so much. Please give it a like uh, and subscribe and please leave a comment. Um, even if it's not what your current hyper focus is, uh, anything helps and I would love to talk to you guys some more. So I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.